Welcome to this episode of Trojan Poetry. This week I've picked the poem and John has not seen it yet. Let's take a look. All right, so this one is by Suzanne Gardinier, Gardinier, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry, Suzanne. But the name of the poem is Democracy. Nothing hurts, but the foot is insistent. The foot seeps, the foot has never healed. The foot, pierced and swollen, will not be hidden. The foot will at all costs be included. The foot will unburden. The foot will rule, waking and sleep, until it's attended, attention. The foot has something to say, but no way of speaking. The foot is sealed and drums the ground in coded, unvocable syllables. The foot has a story the foot can't tell. The foot draws near to weeping to the silver abundance of stacked fish, to fire, to amputations, to the trading of copper, cocoa, and tin, to the spraying of passerby with rounds of ammunition, to the transfer of deeds, to the spewing of muttered words from the tried and vanished, to notices of eviction, to braids of rawhide with salt stiff handles, to turkey and cranberry suppers, to the holds of ships, to forcings on roof rooftops, and on pine needles, to quahogs, quahogs, and muskets, to blocks of auction and execution, the foot pats the dirt, garbled, growing, tired but not resting, the foot continues. And John is now going to completely explicate this poem of course, of course. immediately. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll cheat and go first. How about okay, that? Okay, yeah, right, yeah, so, great. <laughs> uh, so the first thing that hit me was the, the dissonance, if you will, between the title and the foot yeah. imagery, right? <laughs> I mean, the title is Democracy, and yet it's a poem about a foot, mm -hmm. you know, and all the different imagery that goes along with it. So that, I still haven't, I'm hoping John has a brilliant answer for that one, but I still haven't reconciled that one. And the other thing I was wondering, and I don't even know if this is important, is whose foot is it? <laughs> you know, like, is it just a foot, like the Adams Family, the hand, you know, like <laughs> hopping around? Thing, yeah. Or is it, and if so, does that matter? I, I, I don't know. What, <laughs> it, what, what stands out to you, John? And then I can talk a little bit more in a minute. Uh, well, the foot, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> right. um, is it like the the foot is like the march of history? Like it's it's democracy is I, I don't maybe don't think that's what it is, but that was mm -hmm. one thing I started to think, kind of near the bottom. Um, I kept trying to place it in history, mm -hmm. like I was trying to think like oh is this during or at like the um, Revolutionary War because mm -hmm. there were some kind of references to things that I thought seemed Drums, kind of older. Muskets, yeah, right. the hold of the. Um, of the boat, mm -hmm. hold of the ship. Um, so I was like, oh, like, the, the foot continues, like, democracy continues, right? The foot of mm -hmm. history. Or is it the, the foot, like, I think uh, another image is, like, the foot on your neck, right? Like, like the mm -hmm. idea that the foot is coming to trample you. Yeah. So either the foot is a, is whatever it is, well, it's either something good or something bad, mm -hmm. right? It's never healed. It's insistent, like history, time doesn't stop, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's gonna, quite ambiguous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so. And, yeah, and then I looked at the first and last line, nothing hurts, but the foot is insistent, yeah. right? And at the end, tired but not resting, the foot continues. You right. know? So obviously whatever it's doing is pretty important. Um, the other thing that stood out to me was the third from the last line, two blocks of auction and execution, and then the reference to muskets and things. So right. I started wondering if maybe this was a Revolutionary War right. reference. You know, that's or a, Civil a, War, a, even. Yeah, slavery, yeah, right, right. right. The right. Auction, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then, um, you know, talking earlier, the drums, the ground encoded unvocable syllables, right? Um, you know, that marching of, of war and maybe the history of America itself or the, or the Revolutionary War itself. Um, the other thing I was wondering is, does the foot have a shoe on? Or is it more of a boot? Or oh. is it just like a bare foot? Yeah. Because everything it's stepping on would kind of be painful, right? Yeah, well, and the foot it does hurts. seep. Yeah, yeah the foot hurts. seeps oh. and has never healed. Mm. Um, That's not a good image. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, you know, this one struck me because I looked at the title, I was like, mm, democracy, okay. And then all of the stuff about the foot was just so weird and, like yeah. you said, unanswered. But even yeah. by the end of the poem, I, I just, 
it just drew me in for some reason. And I would like to go back and try to figure out like where the line breaks are supposed to be read because right. that you you read it one way, but I can see, you can and see. you clearly had read it before, so you yeah. had some sense of where to do it. But I think reading it the first time, it's it's very it's strange. All, you know, yeah. it's all mashed together. Sometimes was, it seems like it should stop at the end, and sometimes mm -hmm. it seems like it should continue, but mm -hmm. um, kind of off. Right, it's like leaves you off kilter. Yeah, and I think that's the idea. I think it's supposed yeah. to just leave you thinking and wondering, maybe by the end, because the foot does continue. I feel like it's coming towards me, and like, <laughs> what do you do when the foot approaches? You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's already seeping and pierced and swollen. Can you poke it again and maybe? Right. Well, and I guess you know it is like if democracy is like a march, right, and if history mm -hmm. is like a march, but if the foot, like you said, with a boot, mm -hmm. that image of a boot, mm -hmm. you know, that violent image of a boot stepping down on somebody and squashing them, mm -hmm. uh, it, the good and the bad, you know, I mean, that, I think that ambiguity obviously is intentional, mm -hmm. but that serves the purpose that democracy and freedom is will always, happen. You know, and, the, right. and something just occurred to me as you were talking there, this could be the foot of... African Americans, of slaves, right. of you know of people who are, who are yeah, yeah people who are looking for their freedom because nothing hurts but the foot is insistent. It's never healed. It will right. at all costs be included. Right, right. Um, tired but not resting. The foot continues, and like right. you said, you know, well because it's not like we've solved all the problems no. in the world. Right, there's I mean, still yeah. that need to march and that need to yeah, apparently continue forward. Continue. But yeah, I mean, the second line, the foot pats the dirt, garbled, growing, tired, but not resting. Mm -hmm. Like, pats the dirt? Like, I yeah, I don't like, know if it's like tamping it down or if right. it's like it's, you know, right. just slowly walking along. Garbled, growing, tired, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh, democracy. Very interesting, very yeah, ambiguous, wow. a lot to think about. Um, and uh, hopefully, we'll figure it out soon. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com.